Hello, uh, something um, that I might just show you. Maybe relevant, maybe not. Um, yep, yeah, same old levitating ring trick. Now the coil on the top is just a uh, coil extended through the uh, iron core and it's completely open circuit and the coil on the bottom is being driven at about uh, 10 volts here at the peak at 50 hertz. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to short out the uh, top coil I'm going to short out the top coil you can see that it changes the way the AD covers Yeah, so I thought that was interesting, whether it has anything to do with our core shortening in our generators or not, but I'm still sort of looking into that. This core gives us about a 66 to 67 degrees phase shift, but it has a total impedance of about 1 ohm which is pretty low, so it's drawing quite a bit of current at 10 volts, so it's drawing it's probably drawing 10 years, a little bit below 10, at 9 volts, probably just, well it must be drawing at least 9 to 10 amps and of course that's inductance, not resistance because that's impedance I don't know what the R value is drawing, because it's not getting all that hot of course it's quite cool considering how much current is flowing through there so. It's, in, it's, it's more reactive than it is resistive because we've got a larger, we've got a, a fairly high phase shift towards the inductance, and not the resistance, which is good because it keeps our core quite cool. Still though, still very good to juice. Let's see the sparks on there. A little globe here. You can see the glow just running up a smidge. Because the top core is behaving like a um, transformer. It's pretty much the secondary. Hmm. We've been doing some experiments with the motor as well, but so far nothing conclusive to report on that score. Yeah. Interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. Still fascinates me though how that works because that, that ring is now she's way too hot to touch. And it's just an aluminium ring out of uh, one of the spaces out of an ordinary hard drive that holds the platters down. Being in my sort of business, I've had quite a few um, hard drives in my time. I've got lots of spare aluminium spare parts left over. Probably on the top up here. You can always get the one that's going to be hot at those voltages. Anyway, there we go.